Hello everybody and yeah I know you guys are probably getting tired of these videos about feminism and well to be honest so am I this is probably going to be the last one but I've just been I've been watching a couple of these feminists just to see you know just to see if I can find some that make sense and well those that I find that actually make some sense they actually aren't really feminists you know and the reason I'm making this video is because well I'm just seeing a lot of these feminists feminists basically saying that if you if you don't believe in feminism that you're a sexist you know if you don't call yourself a feminist you're a sexist even a guy actually said that you know that by definition, if you're not a feminist, you're a sexist. And that is just straight up fucking bullshit. To the highest degree, basically, you know. And the reason I'm doing this is that there are a lot of young people, you know, not even just young girls, young guys also, who are going to believe this, you know. Who are going to think that, hey, if I don't call myself a feminist, I'm a sexist. But that's not true because feminism isn't about equal rights. You know, maybe how it started, you know, when it was actually called Women's Right Movement or whatever. Back then, you know, back in the 40s, 30s, yeah, there was a lot of stuff going on. But right now, feminism is not about equal rights. Feminism is basically about getting more rights than they already have. You know, I already made a couple of videos about that, how most of the things they say aren't true. You know, like the wage gap or whatever, but... Right now, I just want to focus on why feminism isn't about equal rights. Because if feminism was about equal rights, they would have been... Well, fighting for equal rights, not just for, not just for women, but for everybody. And they don't do that. You know, a lot of women, they like fight for uh, abusive relationships. Which is a problem, yeah. A lot of these guys, they still think they live in the 1930s and they can do whatever they want. That's a problem, true. But it, it doesn't only happen to men, uh, only happen to women. Men also get into abusive relationships. It happens. Maybe not as much, but it still happens. But you won't hear one feminist talk about that. Not one. Not one. You know, men get, especially, you know, yeah, it's, a, it's a U.S. thing, which is a problem, but men in prison in the U.S. get raped more than women in the U.S. Go look up the statistics, it's true. Men in the U.S., they get, men in the U.S. prisons get raped more than women, you know? Do you hear one feminist talk about that? I mean, they want equal rights, right? So they don't only have to talk about when women get raped. You know, and these men, especially these feminists who call, who, these men who call themselves feminists. How many do you hear talk about that? Not one. There isn't one that, talk, that talks about that. And that that's basically tells you that they don't care about equal rights. That's not what they're fighting for. And I already said that many of these men, basically all they want is approval from these women. You know, that's the only reason that they're doing it. And I'm, I'm not calling them weak or that they're, you know, I don't, I don't want to call them any names, but to me it's clear that they, the reason most of these men are doing it is either because of a sense of guilt, you know, maybe they did something to a woman, and now they have guilt or they just want approval but you know uh, let me move on you, you won't hear any of these feminists talk about how uh, Muslim people get harassed simply because of what they believe in you know only only people who you hear talk about how Muslim women get harassed with hijabs are Muslim women who maybe call themselves feminists but you, you don't hear the heck, many of these feminists will probably harass those Muslim people. Is that equal rights? I wouldn't call that. You don't call, I mean like, many people don't get a job simply because of the 
color of their skin. Go look up the statistics, it's true. Black men also get harassed by the police a lot more than white people would. You know, look at how many black people are sent to prison because they smoke weed. Compare that to how many white people get sent to prison because of that. They both smoke the same amount of weed. Go look up the statistics. Equal rights, right? No. They don't talk about that. They don't. How is that equal? You know, uh, uh, let me see. They talk about how rappers say, yeah, bitches in uh, music videos and shit. Here's the problem. When a rapper in a music video says bitches and hoes, they're talking about bitches and hoes. They're not talking about business ladies or, you know, strong-minded, strong-willed. They know. They're talking about bitches and hoes. Easy girls that they can get. That's what they talk about. Listen to the lyrics. You know, you won't hear one rapper talking about a business lady and calling them hoes. No. That won't happen because they're talking about bitches and hoes. Well, what else can I say? Like, uh, this Anidia Sarkeesian that talks about vi what they do to women and what you can do to women in video games. Most of the time you don't even need to do it. Okay, look at all the things you do to men in video games. Most of the people you kill or injure in video games are men. They're not women. Alright? And then they talk about uh, protagonists, that they need more female protagonists. You have a lot, there's even a video uh, that this is not, that this is a lot of female protagonists because they're there. But here's the thing, all of those, th these, w these women, especially like Anita Sarkeesian, will find something wrong, you know, even if it goes a little bit sexy, no, no. See, they have, uh, it's uh, blah, blah. You know, they say, yeah, it's a man with boobs, because, I don't know, she can fight like a man or something like that. But what, what? That's, that's just looking for bullshit. You know, I mean, you don't see any men talk about, man, look, look at how many men get killed in these video games, man. Look at how many men Lara Croft kills in the video game. That's sexism. No, it's a video game. It's that simple. You know, like uh, rape causes. A woman is taken far more serious when she accuses someone of rape that a lot of women take abuse. But when a man does it, he's weak. You know, even if it's another man that raped that man. And don't get me wrong, women can also rape men. Okay? There are many ways a woman can rape a guy. But when a guy talks about it, he's not taken serious. Is that equal rights? How is that equal rights? Because no, it's not equal rights. And that's why feminism is not equal rights. That's why I've said a lot of times, if you want women rights, you need to fight for human rights. Everybody should have the same rights. Everybody. You know, not men more, not women more. Everybody should have the same right. No matter what color you are, no matter what nationality you are, no matter what religion you believe in, and no matter what gender you are. That's why you don't need to call yourself a feminist to fight, to fight for equal rights. If you're fighting for equal rights, you're, I don't know if humanist is the right word for it, but you simply need to fight for human rights. It's that simple. You know, let, let me get another example. A woman can put a man on child support far too easy, even if that man is not the baby's father. There was even a woman who put a man on child support while the kid was dead. The man paid for that 18 years. Can you imagine what would happen if a man did that? Even though a man, it's... it's it's like really hard for a man to actually put a woman on child support even if the woman makes more money and that child support thing you it's it's especially in the u.s it's getting abused by women but do you hear feminists talk about that no nope. nope nope equal rights right you're fighting for equal rights no you're fighting to get more rights and that's why a lot of these women are starting to see the bullshit behind feminism and they're simply speaking out because it is in fact bullshit 
So yeah, I'm going. Uh, let me see. Maybe I can get another example. No, and you know what? I've I've given more than enough examples why feminism isn't fighting for equal rights. You know. So to the young people out there, we're just coming up. You don't need to call yourself a feminism feminist to be fighting for equal rights. You know, just fight for human rights. No need to fight for feminism. Because a lot of these feminists are abusing it. Alright? If a man, like, shows them that they're full of shit, they call harassment. You know? Some even go as far as to say that they got threatened or they call rape or whatever. I mean, look at how many women accuse a man of raping them or that man didn't even touch them. You know, if it was the other way around and a man actually got a woman into prison for something that wasn't true, don't tell me that they would treat them the same way because that doesn't happen. When a man does the same thing a woman does, a man gets more time in jail than a woman. That's not equal rights. Okay? But yeah, let me end it here. This is going to be my last video on feminism. I'm not even going to be watching more feminist video because I'm getting tired of this shit. So yeah, people, don't get brainwashed by, don't get brainwashed by guilt, okay? Make up your own mind and actually research what these so-called feminist people want. And to you feminist guys, who only want approval, what is it going to give you? They're not, those feminists aren't going to like you. Those feminists aren't even going to give you their time. You're just going to see a guy, oh, yeah, yeah, he's on our side, cool. And that's it. Come on. Let's all fight for human rights so everybody can get the same right instead of elevating one group higher than the other because that's what people do a lot. And I'm not, I'm not, not even only talking about feminists. People elevate one group above the other and that's why we got so many problems in this world because people actually believe that somehow they're better than the other group. Well, no, we're all humans. We're all made of flesh and blood and we all make mistakes. But we all should have the same equal rights. Everybody, not just one group, everybody, you know. And when, when you guys finally can get the country in order, perhaps we can talk about how we can help other countries who act where the women actually are op oppressed. Because in the US, in the Western world, women are not oppressed. You know, there are a few that simply choose, yes, they choose to be in the abusive relationship then I can understand perhaps they get too scared to leave but it's still a choice it all starts with a choice because too many women come to me and say well where are all the good men well they're not where you go look for them that's that should be clear if if you have three four five relationships with abusive men then you should be thinking am I choosing the right guy but yeah, that's a story for another time. Take care, everybody. Jamatana.